I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Today is Wednesday, August 15th. Welcome to SCTV News. I'm Dan Batson. And I'm Cameron Perkins. Tomorrow is a big night on campus. Hundreds of parents will be here for curriculum night. Everything begins at 5.40 p.m. in the gym. Staff members we spoke to say it is always valuable to meet the parents of their students. If you'd like to get into all of our Cougar football games for free all season long, you should purchase an ASB sticker at the finance office for $25. In addition to all home sports, you'll also receive $5 off dance tickets, as well as discounts at stores around our campus. Don't miss out on, on the chance to stock up on all your Cougar clothing and school supplies. ASB would like you to know the student store is reopening at lunch today. Make your plans now to visit and grab some Cougar gear. If your brain is looking for a challenge, you'll probably enjoy Academic League. Their first meeting of the year is today at lunch in room D205. Everyone is invited to check out this year's team. What's high school without a little drama? Drama Club has their first meeting of the year today at lunch in B114. If you're wondering whether or not you should go, the members offer some encouragement. It's just such an open environment and everybody there is just having fun and kind of breaking out of their shell and doing just what they love to do. And it's really cool to see like what other people are capable of and just seeing everybody outside of their shy shell and out into the open. <laughs> it's really cool. I really like sitting in the audience and watching other people like act out stuff and honestly it's really funny because um, our leader of drama club usually picks out like really fun games and um, yeah it's just really cool. How long could you live without your cell phone? For many students, their phone occupies the majority of their time during the day. But how much is too much? SCTV News reporter Juliana Gutierrez, along with Asaya Johnson and Isaac Martinez, have this special report. In case you didn't know, cell phones are actually dirtier than toilet seats. The cell phones can be a distraction in class because a lot of times students get too caught up with whatever's going on with their friend group, whether it's like I have to check my Snapchat or I have to keep my streaks alive or I need to check Instagram or whatever. Um, and because students nowadays are so like attached to their phones and like the text and all of that and social media, I think it can definitely be a distraction. I think that cell phones can be a learning tool in the classroom because you can use them to play cahoots. Um, you can use them to do like a class Twitter or a class um, like a project instead of making a flyer you can make like an Instagram page since that's more real life. Um, you can use them to like get answers if your teacher doesn't know an answer uh, or to do research if our internet goes out. Things like that. So I think that it can definitely be useful in the classroom and, and a good learning tool but you have to find that balance between I'm using it for school and I'm using it to talk to my friends. I think that phones are definitely a distraction in school. I I know even for adults, let alone students, if you're on the internet using your phone for academic purposes, then a text comes through or a Snapchat comes through, even as adults, you're gonna go and check it and therefore it becomes a distraction and you're no longer using your phone for academic purposes. In my class, the policy is if you need to use your phone for academic purposes or anything else, you need to ask permission. If it's out without permission, then you get a warning, um, might get it taken until the end of the block, or if it's a recurring problem, then it's gonna be taken to the office. I think the only benefit to using the phone during school hours is the quick access. Some teachers think it could be a good idea if they took the phones before students take their seats. They're great. I mean, I use mine all the time. Yeah, I think they're really fun to have. I mean, the teachers take your phone away really if they see them or they tell you to put them away. Like, yeah. I mean, they can be a distraction. I've been without my phone for a week, but it wasn't fun. I mean, like, willingly, probably like, Eight hours because I'm sleeping. Students in our generation now can't seem to live without their phones. You can almost always see students as they walk to class or in public looking down at their phones, not paying attention. I feel like we need them because, like, during, we can, I feel we can use them during breaks because 
we don't have anything else to do like some people really enjoy like watching I don't know social medias but I feel like during class there's an exception in whether teachers want you to, to use them or not I feel like a lot of people take advantage of like uh, the t if the teacher's not looking like they use their phones but like it's it becomes a distraction because then like they don't pay attention which is bad for them or sometimes they cheat on the yeah. test like yeah with the phones yeah it depends on if like you're using it at the right time or not but i think in class it can help a lot too. i use my data like the beginning of the month yeah. so like i can go i don't know how long probably like a day if i needed to I think cell phones during school can definitely be used for some really positive academic purposes and they are necessary definitely in this time and age. In class, cell phones can definitely be a distraction um, if not used properly, if not used with permission. Um, there are plenty of apps out there that um, students like to use during class that distract them from their academics. I think each teacher knows the chemistry of the class and they know what's best for the class. So if that's something that the teacher would like to implement, I would be 100% supportive of that. Um, it's not always necessary. It just depends on the grade level, the class, and whether it's being used for academic purposes. There are several positive uses to be used during class. I've seen teachers allowing students to research topics immediately on their cell phones as opposed to going to the Chromebooks. There is a list of hundreds of reasons why students should be using cell phones in the classroom. The number of mobile phone users in the world is expected to pass the 5 billion mark by 2019. Yes, I yeah. think they are because kids aren't looking at the board or like watching the teacher because they're too distracted with like notifications they're getting. I know I spend time in math when I should be paying attention. I'm thinking about like if it's my turn for cup pong and I'm like not listening. And so it's definitely a distraction. Maybe teachers could like have a rule where you like turn off your phone during class. A lot of teachers have a rule like you can't have your phone in class, but they don't actually enforce it. Like, yeah. like you can just have your phone out in your desk and it won't say anything. And so it's nice that they seem to really trust us, but I know I'm distracted. Mm -hmm. I'm actually guilty of allowing my kids to utilize their phones, but you know, for things like when we do um, Kahoot or um, any of those other ga educational games. Um, however, they could become a distraction when kids are secretly like texting or secretly doing other things underneath the desk. The teachers notice that, and it's a huge distraction to the rest of the class, for sure. We do encourage them to um, listen to their music while they're writing and they're really appreciative of that. And that's the only time I usually allow them to have their phones out when they're listening to music and working quietly. For SCTV News, I'm Juliana Gutierrez. Our very own Steel Canyon Spirit Club has their first meeting today in the theater. Show up and show your cougar pride. Boy and girl basketball players both have meetings this week. The girls will be meeting today at lunch in the ENS classroom. And then tomorrow, the boys will meet in F101, also at lunch. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great Wednesday. Raw, raw cougars. Cougar pride, get, get some. some.